In this video, I will be testing three different tile bits from Home Depot. And we're going to find the best one so that you don't waste your time or your money. Now, the three bits are one, a carbine tipped bit, and two, a diamond core bit. Now, these first two are designed to be used with a regular drill. But the third one is a diamond braised core bit for use with an angle grinder. Now, it's important to know that the harder the tile you're working with is, the harder it will be to drill through it. You can imagine a spectrum that goes from soft to hard. And on the soft end, you have tiles like ceramic tile, then natural stones like marble, limestone, sandstone, slate, and then it gets harder when it goes into granite, quartz, and then you have glass and porcelain tiles up there as some of the hardest tiles that you can drill through. And to illustrate that, I have set a row of different tiles. Now, the first two are ceramic and porcelain tiles, two of the most common tiles that you will encounter in any bathroom, really. The next two is a natural slate stone and then a glass mosaic. And lastly, we have a half an inch thick porcelain tile as the final test for our drill bits. And to see how efficient each bit is, I will be timing how long it takes to drill through each tile. Now, some of the tools you will need are tape to help you mark out where your holes will be. But if you don't have that, you can also use a Sharpie or a whiteout pen with colored ink. And you will need a tape measure, of course. I will be using this pump uh, to help spray water to cool down the tiles and bits as we cut them. Now, water makes the bits themselves last a lot longer. And it also helps to protect your tile by cooling them down and keeping them from chipping. And if you're drilling with a thinner bit without water, it could get too hot and then snap, thereby leaving the broken end stuck in the wall. Now, it's always important to be wearing some personal protective equipment or PPE, like safety glasses, ear protection, and a mask if you're going to be drilling without water because it makes a lot of dust. And it would also be a good idea to have a friend help you spray water so that you can, yourself can focus on just drilling. And that will minimize the chances of your bit slipping or walking away from your mark as you're drilling. Now, let's get started. First up is the carbine tipped bit from Milwaukee. It costs $16.47, and they recommend this for use with glass tile, ceramic tile on a normal drill setting. But if you're gonna be drilling through natural stone, they recommend that you set your drill to hammer drilling. And it's not recommended for use with porcelain, but we're going to try it anyway. Now the carbine bit drilled through the ceramic tile in 20 seconds when wet and 18 seconds dry. The porcelain was 60 seconds wet and 52 seconds dry. Slate was 20 seconds wet and 10 seconds dry. Glass 34 seconds wet and 1 minute and 8 seconds dry. And you can also see what it does to glass tiles when you drill through it on a hammer drill setting and without water to cool it down. So don't do that. Now our half inch porcelain, it drilled through it in 55 seconds wet and one minute and 40 seconds dry. Now this bit did a lot better than I had expected, especially with the porcelain but I was also pushing pretty hard on it to test the bit. And after about 10 holes, my drill had gotten really hot. 
So I had to let it cool down before moving on to the core bit. Now the problem with carbine bits is that they wear out much faster than diamond bits do. The tip starts to round off and that means that they will start to uh, walk off your mark as you start to drill. But next up, we have our diamond core bit at a price of $22.47, now also from Milwaukee. And they recommend you use this bit with all kinds of tile. And that makes sense since it's made with diamonds and they are much harder than all of our other materials and will therefore cut through them. It drilled through the ceramic tile in 30 seconds wet and 34 seconds dry. Porcelain was 45 seconds wet and 40 seconds dry. Slate, one minute and 30 seconds wet, 55 seconds dry. Glass, one minute wet and 42 seconds dry. Half inch porcelain, two minutes wet, one minute dry. Now you notice that some of the tiles, it was a lot faster drilling through them dry. And that is because I was able to use both of my hands to push the drill and thereby speed up the cut. But all in all, this Milwaukee bit um, had a lot of trouble drilling through our tiles. And the reason is that as it cuts through, it leaves a little core behind inside the shaft of the bit. Now this core makes it hard to drill the next hole you're going to be drilling if you don't remove this little core first. And you have to pr then press really hard to break it up inside the shaft as you drill your next hole. But removing the core is no easy task in itself. And that just adds more time and hassle to your whole workflow. And now lastly, we have our diamond brazed bit for an angle grinder. It is from a pretty unknown brand called Monster and you can only buy this online at Home Depot. And it costs $11.72. Now these are the bits that I professionally like to use because they fit on a standard angle grinder and they drill through any tile super fast, even when dry. So you don't have to mess around with the water. And that is because it has a cooling wax that runs through the entire length of the stem. And that helps to cool down and protect the bit while drilling. And this grinder core bit drilled through the ceramic tile in nine seconds, both dry and wet. And through porcelain tile, 24 seconds dry and 25 seconds wet. Slate, 13 seconds dry and 19 seconds wet. Glass, 40 seconds dry and 41 seconds wet. Our half inch porcelain, it did it in 55 seconds dry and 60 seconds wet. Now this bit drilled through everything like it was butter. I didn't have to press really hard. And that is because it's on a grinder and therefore it's able to drill at a much higher RPM. And it also has a lot more diamond grit on the tip of the bit itself. And that makes it able to drill faster than the other two bits do. It also didn't have any of the same core issues as our last Milwaukee bit had. Now, the only downside to this bit is that it doesn't come in any smaller sizes than quarter inch. Now, in conclusion, I think that the grinder bit ended up doing the best out of the three. And it's also the one that will end up lasting the longest, even when using it without water. So if you're able to wait for it to come in the mail and you know that you will be drilling a lot of holes, then this is definitely the bid that you should get. But if you're standing in Home Depot right now and you need a bid today, 
go ahead and buy a carbon bit. But remember that you get what you pay for, so don't buy the cheapest one that you can find. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you found it helpful. And if you want to learn some more about how to make your tile projects a success, please go to nordicstone.co. There I'm working on companion articles for these videos and some in-depth video courses that's going to be released in the near future. So if you want, please go check it out. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.